you ever had sex? Absolutely not. We got the polar vortex up in Minnesota. Uh, couldn't be outside for more than four minutes for skin exposed. That's the kind of craziest thing I've got. You know, a couple heads of snow, but um, nah, nothing like this. Uh, oh, just praying for everybody's health and safety. I hope everybody gets all the, you know, everything they need, non perishable food, water, uh, you know, and stay safe during this time. You know, understand that we'll all be good. We saw you guys getting addressed after practice. I guess what was the message from the team in office? Uh, just to say safe to myself and my they are giving us a couple of things, uh, some food and some water to take home, but you know, just start to charge everything, gas in the car, uh, you know, obviously prepare for the worst, but you know, keep in mind, you know, here on getting better and you know, as we come in, you know, great, if not, then you know, stay safe. Like this seems like you guys can almost hey, out I here. brought up that suggestion. I said I will have a lock in the facility. But, uh, you know, I'm like, that's not good. I'm sorry. Year, year two of training camp for you, do you feel like things are you know slowing down a little bit and things are feeling more comfortable for you? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think today, this morning was you know a great start. You know, had a lot of energy. Uh, it's just a great time to learn for us. Uh, you know, and the coaches just wanted to do a great job of walking through everything, letting us letting us know what's going to come. Uh, you know, everybody got to see go through coverages and actions and reads and things like that. Um, so I think everybody's comfort level is really good enough. Uh, you know, and the attention to detail is there. Uh, so as far as the team-wise, it goes to that. But I think it goes to that, you know, personally as well. You know, my attention to detail. Not only on my talk, not only on uh, my defensive assignments, how I'm moving, but on my body language and things like that. Those are, you know, small things that, you know, when you're trying to get better that you have to pay attention to. So just continuing to build on those things. Jamal was saying this is the chance to be a special defensive team. Are you seeing those signs early as well? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, when you have the ability to switch one through five, um, even when you have Bowl and Maul on the same team, you know, you switch one through five on the Mo, uh, Mo Bamba, you know, you want to go past them when you got Bowl in the passing lane, you got Mo's hands in the passing lane and come for a contest. Like, you know, when you have our right, fives and fours who are doing that, um, you know, and you're not even talking about Wendell or J.I. or Fonz yet, or us guards, um, it gets pretty scary. Uh, so, like I said, we have all the opportunity in the world that we need right here in front of us. You know, we just have to lock in, take care of it, and uh, you know, execute. Having just gone through training camp last year, are you able to kind of you know, give, give Paolo or Caleb some of the other guys some some advice on what they can expect over the course of the week? Yeah, just trying to share my insight. Uh, you know, share my knowledge. I've gotten to see training camp. I've gotten to see a whole NBA season before, uh, and I've been around. You know, the team last year and everything we're trying to instill and uh, you know the culture we're trying to create. So just trying to come come in here this morning. You know, really help. We can help share that message uh, and spread that message across the team, especially the young guys. You know, just get all of us on the same page before. That's what this time is for. How was it different than this time last year when you were entering your first training camp practice? How do you have to feel today when you're entering your training A year older. <laughs> uh, nah, at the end of the day, I mean, it's basketball. Um, I think this year, the difference is the attention to detail and the focus that everybody has. You know, um, everybody here has a strong belief. Oh, and what we can accomplish this year. And uh, we are setting the training for this year. So everybody's focused on the side, communication side, and uh, yeah, the energy side. So I can't wait to keep this in road. How is the coaching different? I guess maybe coaching is real different than last year because of the accountability aspect of the injury. Yeah. Uh, like I said, no slip ups are allowed. You know, we could be walking through a drill 50% and you drop your hands for a couple seconds. You know, your group is off. You know, we did that a lot in our defensive drills. Uh, in transition, if you're not fully loaded to the ball, you move it off. Um, so again, like I said, just holding people accountable because we know what we want to accomplish and anything that's in that, you know, we feel like I was really that so When you're on the court there with Paulo, you see how big he is. Is it amazing just the size and the skill that he has? It's kind of unique, right? Absolutely. I mean, you have someone who's 6'10", 6'11", 250, uh, to handle the ball like a guard, you can see it like a guard. Um, but you can already take you to the mid post, you know, to the elbow, look over you, shoot over you. Um, it's difficult for anybody to not only guard, but he has a true potential on the defensive end as well. Um, you know, when he learns to use his body, uh, you know, use his length, playing in passing lanes and be solid, you know, it's going to be really hard to score with as well. Like I said, that all plays into our defensive potential this team this year.